Hi view, welcome to the YouTube channel. I'm Harisan. Today in this lecture, we are going to learn axios with ReactJS. That how can we use axios with ReactJS? So it's similar like fetch we have used for the fetching data and posting data in the React. So why we are using axios with React? So because it's a fast way of getting those operation. So maybe you will be familiar with the uh, what uh, axios does. But let me tell you about that. It's a fast way for fetching, posting data on the server. As you can see here written that promise based HTTP client for the browser and Node.js. So we'll see it practically today. So you will learn all these stuff. So for that you have to create it. You have to create app as I have created this app using npx create react app. So if we run this you can simply uh, see let's use excuse with ReactJS on the browser so first of all we have to visit the excuse npm as you can see here so first of all we will uh, install the npm i excuse if you are using npm package uh, mean if you have created your app using npm so you can uh, write in the terminal npm install excuse while i have uh, used yarn so i will type here uh, yarn add axios so it will add axios in my package dot json so let's wait so it has been successfully installed now type yarn start if you are using npm so you should to write npm start you know that so let's use axios with rig just has been displayed because we have written this text over here so what we'll do next so we will use a peak restful api for using axios to see axios in action we are using the free fake restful api that is json placeholder if you type json placeholder uh, on the search bar you will see this result so click on this and see what's uh, inside the JSON placeholder so as you can see here this is what you can see here that is it has been used fetch here it is because this is the general way uh, to use this fake RESTful API but we will use it using axios so if you scroll down you can see here we can create post uh, we can post post comments albums photos to do users all these things so these are the roads post post and post slash one if you want all the post for example if i click on the post you can see the all data in the json format as you can see here but we will access these uh, dummy data in our project using axios so let's get started without further delay so this is the main.js file so let me remove this so the first thing is we have to import axios axios from axios sorry and the second thing that we will be using this axios over here f4 for, for example we want it to use here so the it is a simple way to use axios sorry wait. we will use it here in the use effect hooks you will be familiar with the use effect hooks we use it for the side effect so use effect hooks which takes two argument an arrow function and dependency array use effect sorry spell mistake it's a little bit typo use effect still it has issue why is the case so we will import uh, x use we can say import use effect use effect from react this is something we will import from react so everything is clear you will be familiar with the word use effect it's just like we use in the class component that is component did mount so after mounting so this is the similar hooks you will be familiar with this we use it for the side effect for fetching data so for example i fetch those records which we can see over here on the browser 
so how can i display these data in the table especially in our react app so this is this is the goal of our today lecture so dot we can use x use like that x use git here we will add the url so let's come here and copy this url json plus holder so if i paste it here this is something it will get but this is the main thing over here is that's return promises so we will write here then response because we want to show the response over here so i can simply console log for now the response that are we getting the response dot data or not so response dot data should be console log then we have another uh, chain that is car cage which returns any type of error if we have in fetching data so i can also console log that error so that should be error so let's make it control s and come to the come over here nothing change here so click f12 or right click and click inspect so you will see here on the console screen that what use effect bring for us yes as you can see over here our data is here these are the full as you can see here we're on the browser these data has been now in our react app that's quite awesome if you now the the next thing is to make it render how we will render this data so for example i want to render this data here in the table so let's uh, create a dummy table type a simple html table so if we uh, write here html table uh, so the very first result you will see let's grab this from the w3 school today we are not focusing on the any css framework or anything else but to grab the code it's easy to write by ourselves too but it's better to grab from this source that is not take the time so this is something we need to grab okay body so i, I need the table so i will just copy the table come down okay okay no matter now we have to cross this come over here paste here and you can see this dummy data here in our app this is clear that we are getting data now we will deal with it don't worry okay this is a uh, what table but there is no borders because it's a borderless table we are not concentrating over this but let me remove some of the rows from here because we are rendering it uh, using we will be rendering this using map so here first of all we have to uh, we are getting the data so we need to store this data in an array so we will define here a hooks call this uh, data let's and that would be a set data is equal to u state so we will also import u state from react u state these are the very useful hooks okay u state that would be as indicated here that would be array as you know so and that then we are getting this data console log now we want to display this data to send this data to our data uh, hooks as we have created now so we we will be consoling log as well as we will be sending to the set data so what we are sending we are sending result dot data so we can also write here a text here for example by writing here getting from server getting from getting from like that they leave the other text over here so there will be something shows on the console screen through which we can identify the thing easy 
so guys so let's see that we are getting or not okay well hope guys there will be fun in this lecture stay tuned with so as you can see over here a getting prom we are getting array so inside this array we have a user id uh, we have user id we have other id we have title so we are actually only grabbing for example for instance id and title and body these three things we can grab so for example the heading we are say id title and this will be body what body okay now we use to render this so for rendering console dot log sorry not console dot log constant um, i will say array equal to uh, our data which is come from the server is now in the data mean we have stored it using set data in this data which is a hook you are familiar with so let's map this so we will get for example here data and another one will be index for instance sorry this should should be inside like this data and another one is index and now we will be returning what that will be actually uh, uh, what we will be returning we will be returning this thing uh, this one this row we will be returning that's control x come over here control v now what we will be doing here by the way so we will be using we will be using uh, data dot id data dot id will be rendered over here data dot id why it's gone away let me bring this okay control c here we go Control V and here will be title Title and here will be body so we are actually want to show these three attributes from So this will do what this will render our, our data which is now stored as a MAFE in the array So if we call here array By writing this so it will display all the render data so control s and see the result so come to the browser and let's see wow that's awesome as you can see the data has been rendered oh how cool is that as you can see here these are all the data which were here in the json parment and we have displayed it using axios that's awesome guys that's really awesome there were 100 posts so we were only uh, rendered these three uh, we can see columns or attributes from this JSON placeholder array. So the, uh, that was was that how can we use it for the getting data axios. So this video is getting long. So we will do the delete and as well as how we how we can post a data using axios in the next lecture. Till that, ijazat dije, Allah Hafiz.